Hello and welcome. We'll quickly solve a problem. Again, this is about finding a system state, uh, this time using the PC model. So we'll set up a very quick problem here, a simple and easy problem. So water is boiling in this pot and we are asked to find out what will be the temperature inside when the steam starts leaking. Uh, if you think about it, the steam will leak only when water is boiling. So essentially, what we want to find is the boiling uh, temperature of water at a certain pressure. And what pressure would that be? Steam will start leaking when the downward force on this lid is equal to the upward force. And if we do a force balance up and down, then we can quickly show we can quickly show that the upward force would be necessary will will produce a, a pressure of 209 kPa. In other words, inside pressure is 209 kPa when steam will start leaking. Now that is a mechanics problem. You've got to be able to draw a, a free body diagram and show that the upward force and downward force balance each other out only when the pressure inside is 209 kPa. So the thermodynamic problem reduces to finding the boiling point or the saturation, temper saturation temperature of water at 209 kPa. Uh, le let's solve this simple problem at the same time, look at some of the uh, features the PC model offers. So you go to the test calcs module and, or, or better, we can go to the property tables module and then we understand that to find the saturation temperature at a given pressure, we can always open the steam table. It comes to the bottom, if you notice, and we can figure out what is the boiling temperature at 209 kPa, which will be somewhere in between uh, these two numbers, between 120 and 124. Instead of, suppose we want to find it using a test app, then we click on the test app icon here, Notice that the test tape appears in, on the top while the table appears on the bottom. And what we know is the pressure is given to be 209 kPa. And we can say the saturated is a mixture of liquid and vapor inside. Suppose we just arbitrarily assume it's 0 0.5. Any number you put, you're going to get the same temperature. So if you do a calculate, Temperature is 121.59 degrees Celsius. If you go to the graphics panel, you can see the calculated state will be somewhere between the saturated liquid and saturated vapor. So this is the calculated state. And our main goal here was to find uh, the temperature at which the water is boiling or the saturation temperature, which is 121.59. Well, now that we already got the answer, we could see that how a verification helps a manual solution. For, for instance, uh, we have, we already have the table open here, so we could go and take a look at, suppose we're solving this problem manually, we'd say our answer will be somewhere in between, this is 200 kPa, 225 kPa, and the temperatures are 120 and 124, and 209 is way closer to 200 than 225. Then the answer of 129, which you know the exact answer is 129, uh, sorry, 120.9, that kind of makes sense because we are closer to 200 kPa. So this is one way in which you can, one can improve your power of estimating uh, interpolated numbers from tables by opening the tables uh, on the bottom half and the test test step at the top so you can go back and forth in a larger screen it would be much easier so 121.59 is our answer here and over there it will be closer to that answer too